Hello. So it's been years and years since I put my last video up, but I'm back now and I want to do more videos again. And today we're jumping into making bacon. Uh, that being said, I'm in a new kitchen. I'm a lot older and excuse the sound quality because I'm using my earbuds because I don't, I didn't get my heads on a, on a microphone, but I need to make bacon and I want to actually share with you how I'm doing that and how you can do your own amazing bacon in the house at home instead of just this kind of bland nah, supermarket bacon, right? So we want to have really good bacon. I love bacon. I think you do too if you watch this video and we're getting right into it. Okay, so we're starting with a kilo of pork shoulder. The reason they use pork shoulder is because there's enough fat on here, if you look around, and at the same time, it's enough meat to actually come out as a really solid bacon, similar to what you saw in the, in the main screenshot. So the first thing I do is I just take this whole thing and cut it in half. Careful with the fingers and all that jazz. Now here's another thing. You see these kind of ends that are hanging here? I'm leaving them hanging on there. The reason being that, the same goes for these thin ends here. Um, the reason being that once I'm done, once, once the bacon is done curing, I can cut those off and chop them into cubes for anything else that I want to do. Right, that's the meat prepared. Now let's move on to the preparation of the spice mix. For these spices, we have only four ingredients, and that is salt. This is similar to curing salt. Basically, it's a mix of salt and sodium nitrate. Now, I know that there is a whole lot of questions about the whole nitrate thing. Should you use it? Should you not? I personally like it because I would like to keep my bacon pink on the inside. And on the other hand, it adds the... For me, the bacony flavor to it. There's unrefined cane sugar, and there are caraway seeds, which I put through a mortar and pestle just a little bit to kind of crack them open. Salt. To get good bacon, you want to have 3% of your meat weight in salt, which means for one kilo of bacon, that is exactly 30 grams. I will put the non-gram description on the bottom. So, you can see the, the weight there, I assume. So we're taking off this one 27 grams from, this is way, way too much, see, there you go. That's how you not do it. Twenty-seven grams. And then we add another three grams of the mix with the, with the nitrate powder because this is a mix of salt and nitrite. And there you have it. That's your base ingredients for bacon. If you would cure your meat with this right now, you would already get bacon out. However, we all know that bacon has, good bacon has like a roundness to it. Otherwise you get the store-bought bacon, which is just basically meat and salt. This. So we want to round out the flavor. For that, I'm using a little bit, and I mean a little bit, of cane sugar, of unrefined cane sugar. So for me, that's usually somewhere between three and five grams. This now gives you a really round bacon if you leave it like it is. However, you can now add any kind of flavors that you like. In this case, I'm going to toss in a good teaspoonful of slightly cracked caraway seeds. And that's it. Now we take this whole thing, mix it up nicely, and there you have it. Your bacon mix, bacon spice mix. There are a few ways, different ways to cure bacon and I've tried three of them. I tried wet brining, which is basically putting your meat into a tub of brine uh, liquid brine. The second one is dry brining, 
where I put my bacon into a on, onto a rack that lets the uh, water drip off and just coat it in a dry uh, spice mix, in a dry brine mix. The third one, and this is the one I actually like the most, is using a freezer bag. I have these gallon bags here, they are, you can get them on Amazon or anything. I put a link on all the uh, different Amazon things on the bottom of this video in case you're interested. But basically, stick your meat in there. Now I start on the outside of the meat and I just add a little bit of the mix and make sure it's somewhat coated in it. None of that is like super important how great it is coated or not. There will be water that comes out of the meat which will dissolve more the rest of the salt in the sugar and distribute that and make sure and, and you get the get the rest brine that is not covered. And we put the second piece in there. Covering the middle. And then I turn it over. So this is how the, how the meat was before I cut it apart. And cover the rest of it. And done. The good thing is, because you measure it out, the spice mix, you know exactly that there should be nothing left over. And it's done. One kilo of bacon to go into the fridge for frying. Now I'll show you a little bit of a trick that I have here because I don't have an actual vacuum sealer. And for that I need to move the camera for a second. Okay, so basically what I have here is just a metal straw. So I stick the straw in one corner of the bag. Let me see that I put this here so you see. So I put the stick in one side of the of the bag, the straw, and then I basically just pull the air out. Similar to what a vacuum sealer would do. Right? Obviously not as good because there's still air in there, but this is good enough. I just don't want the bags to be bulgy and kind of not really sitting there when I put them in the fridge. But there you have it. This goes in the fridge now, sits for about a week, and I will make another video when I'm actually opening it and uh, show you how I go on with that.